love your relationship with Lex and how we see that kind of falter a little bit in the pilot and then how it really kind of blossoms in the next few episodes. Can you talk about that a little bit? Sure, absolutely. Um, that's what I think is so beautiful. It's heartbreaking, for sure. But what's so beautiful about it, in a heartbreaking way, <laughs> is that, you know, we often take for granted the things that, you know, are here in front of us. Um, and it's not intentional. It's just we have issues sometimes, and Jenna has some issues. And so she changes her mind, obviously, the last minute, um, and of course it's too late. Uh, so in her con not, yeah, contemplation, I guess, she goes through some regret and remorse, but what it does do is open her heart more than it ever has before. I mean, it's slow, but we see as, well, as the, the season goes on uh, that she learns to love him a million times more than she did before, and also the people around her, because it's about survival. You know, and uh, yeah, I, lo I love that. Obviously, I want them to be together, but I think what she learned was this Can you talk about the, um, the ramifications of the food shortage that she has with her um, co workers in the office and kind of how they're going to have to maybe, like, that'll cause problems for them? Eat each other? <laughs> We actually don't really go into it too much. I, I mean, we have some moments like we'll see where there's they get angry, especially when we have to self quarantine, you know. And um, yeah, it's not something that we actually focus too much in terms of in my office, but it is something that fuels our. Drive to get out and figure out, and figure out how to survive because we're not going to survive. What I thought was really interesting about that specifically is when you were outvoted um, and the men went on the food run, and then when they came back, it looked like one of the men perhaps something was wrong with him, and you decided to quarantine him. I love that about your character. Can you talk a, a little bit? Because like it seemed like she definitely, you know, had to kind of pull something out of herself to do it, but I love that she did it. Yeah. See, it came from her childhood, because she had to survive. She grew up in group homes, like moving from one to the next to the next. So when you're placed in these really horrific circumstances, you learn how to take care of yourself and how to survive. So she's always thinking two steps ahead. So even if, and she's learned how to make really tough choices for herself and for Susie, because they did actually grow up together. Uh, so, yeah, it may not be the most comfortable. And also, she doesn't want to be in a leadership position. She doesn't want to have to make those choices. This is too risky to take care of someone else. You know, um, to come outside of your comfort zone and really be there for someone, whether it's good or, you know, uncomfortable. So, uh, yeah, you'll see a lot more of those decisions being made over time. But I do, I respect that about Jana. Speaking of which, how much of yourself or your own characteristics are in that character? <laughs> <laughs> I believe in that. No. Um, I, I've gotten in my way. You know, she, she got in her way and now she's stuck with a virus, you know, inside of the quarantine. And so, yeah, I've gotten in my way from doing the things that I love because of my own fears and insecurities. Hindsight, what, 2020 vision, you're like, oh, fuck me. Um, but we both have a lot of strength and confidence. Um, that comes from not having strength or confidence, you know, and having to learn that. You know, I was bullied in school. We didn't call it bullying back then, but <laughs> I'm not that <laughs> one. But, you know, that's a relatively recent, you know, especially with social media, you know, it's, it's a very different situation these days. Uh, so, yeah, I think we have a lot. I'm fiercely independent. She's fiercely independent. My boyfriend respects that. Lex respects that. <laughs> and it's also commanding and appreciated. <laughs> um, and then there's also a vulnerability that I exhibit that Jenna and she learns to. Yeah. <laughs> 
the, the concept of this particular show is very uh, timely, considering it's very timely considering what, what is it, the Zika virus? Is that what, what we're getting down? That's the new one. Yeah, the new one, the latest. You know, so how do you feel about being in a program that isn't isn't fiction yet, but could potentially be? I mean, does that make you think more about what you're seeing happening in the world? Yes, like it actually freaks me out. <laughs> Completely, and I'm like, okay, does art imitate life? Does life, you yeah. know, imitate art? Uh, I think it's great in the sense that we do learn from television, we do learn from film, and as Claudia was saying on the panel, that in Belgium, they are actually taking precautions as a nation because of the show Corner, which is what containment is modeled for. Right. So we can do the same thing, and we should do the same thing, because this is science facts, you know, this isn't a science fiction show. 